Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Lonnie Hill with Lonnie Hill's Flatline Fitness. You know, this is where we burn calories, flatline fat. We strengthen our hearts on a daily basis through diet and exercise. We also learn nutritional facts so that we can live a long, strong, healthy lifestyle. But you know, I'm back at this book again. You know, I kind of bounced around a little bit, but I kind of just ran across something. So give me a couple minutes. I just want to read it to you guys. <clears throat> and just so you know, this is a book that's based on Dr. Sebi's, um studies and success and things. Sebi studies and success, okay? He says, Dr. Sebi's mythology support the idea that illnesses, illness begins where the mucous membrane of organs has been compromised. The constant consumption of acidic foods, meat, dairy, and processed foods deprive the body of minerals, acidifies the body, and leads to development of chronic inflammation. This causes the overproduction of mucus and compromises organs, protective mucus membranes, organs, protective mucus membranes. The combination of the combination of reaction in the body provides the environment hospitable to disease because it paralyzes white blood cells. This allows for the proliferation of pathogens and leaves weakened organs susceptible to the pathogens. The Western medical point of view looks at diseases being infected with a virus, bacteria, or fungus. People constantly encounter virus, bacteria, bacteria, and fungus, but that doesn't mean a person necessarily has to become sick. This means that pathogens are not the reason themselves to lead to illnesses. Sickness occurs when the body's natural defense are not enough to keep it from succumbing to pathogens. Western medicine uses acidic and unnatural chemicals to kill the pathogens that undermine organ health, organ health instead of focusing on what the body needs to fortify its own natural defense. Susceptibility to diseases to disease will remain when the integrity of organs and the immune systems are weakened. Western pharmaceuticals medicines is designed to attack specific pathogens, but its medicine set up conditions that further undermine the integrity of organs. It, in essence, Western's, Western medicine's approach keeps the body in a constant state of internal weakness, leaving it susceptible, susceptible, susceptible to future pathogens. Sickness sets in when pathogens can penetrate organ and, dis, and disrupt cell functions. The role of mucous membranes is to protect organs by producing mucus to trap, the, to trap and neutralize pathogens for their removal from the body. Dr. Sebi explains in the mucous membrane and the lungs was compromised and resulting, the resulting illness would be pneumonia. A compromised mucous membrane is the bronchial tubes, bronchial tubes, tubes will result in bronchitis. In the pancreas, the result will be would be diabetes. In the joints, the result will be arthritis. The consumption of meat, dairy, and processed food acidifies the body, causing chronic inflammation, compromises the mucous membrane, and results in susceptibility to disease and deterioration of organ function. The body's response to heavy milk consumption and its toxins with increased mucus production and inflammatory process to combat the threat. Casein, a protein in milk, has been, leaked, has been linked to an increased risk of developing cancer. Casein consumption has also been implicated in the overproduction of mucus in the gut and the respiratory glands. Continuous consumptions of meat and processed food also compromise the mucous membrane because of the chronic acidic environment that they develop. An acidic environment in the blood supports proliferation of disease by shutting down white blood cells. Dr. Marcial Vega, a, re a renowned on oncologist trained at John Hopkins University, gave a perfect example of this. Through his studies, he realized that acidic environments wreck wrecked, wreaked havoc on the immune system and aided in prolifer proliferation of diseases. Dr. Marcio Vega examined the blood of his cancer patients 
and found red blood cells lost hemoglobin because of anemic and clumped together to protect themselves against the acidic environment. This interfered with proper oxygenation of red blood cells and the delivery of oxygen to organs to support cell functions. The acidic environment also paralyzed white blood cells, which allowed for uric acid and cholesterol and other toxins, toxins and pathogens to build up. Dr. Marcio Vega raised his patients' blood pH levels to 7.4 simply by having them drink goji berry juice. He used goji berry juice at the time because he found it was the quickest natural way to turn acidic environment of his patients' bodies into slightly alkaline environment. The change helped to protect and strengthen their immune system. The change to an alkaline environment allowed the red blood cells to separate and become properly oxygenated. This allowed, this allowed for the proper delivery of oxygen and nutrients of organs to support healthy cell functions. White blood cells woke up from their dormant state and could seek, the, seek and neutralize uric acid, cholesterol, and other harmful organisms. Dr. Marcial Vega, Vega's patients experienced the following while participating in, Golgi, in the Golgi Berry experiment. 90% of his patients had reversal of acid, acid and alkalinity. 85% of his obese patients experienced significant weight reductions with the increase in lean body mass, no loss of muscle. 80% maintained constant levels of hemoglobin plate, platelets and white blood cells. That was significant considering Significant considering cancer patients undergoing cancer treatment usually experience 80 to 100 percent drop in these blood these blood levels. 80 percent of his patients with blood pressure with high blood pressure experienced a drop in their blood pressure. 50 percent had a decrease or eliminate or elim eliminate their high blood pressure medications. 75% of all his patients experienced an increase in libido. 67% of his patients with high cholesterol experienced a minimum drop of 50 points in four weeks. 64% of his diabetic patients experienced a decrease in blood sugar levels. Dr. Marcio Vega experiments supported Dr. Seavey's position that an acidic environment supported the proliferation of disease and undermined organ integrity. His treatment also supported the notion that alkaline foods were, supported, were supportive of the immune system and that they created an environment that was inhospitable to disease. And that was just off Golgi Berry Juice alone. You know, um, as you guys see, I support natural remedies and things like that, but um, I'm not completely against pharmaceuticals and things like that. Um, I mean, I... I don't do them. You know, I don't have to. I don't have any conditions that cause for me to. And I hope I never have those conditions. But um, that's why I try to take care of myself the best way I can and educate myself in what's good and conducive to the human body and digestive system. So, as you guys know, goji berries, as I just read to you guys, are good for you along with all other things that we talk about on a daily basis. This is not the daily topic today, but I will post that in the next couple hours. But I'm going to post this right now. So, hey, let me not let me know what you guys think about that. That's, that's, that's deep, though, for real, though. And you guys can, you know, check this out yourself. Dr. Marcial, that's Dr. M-A-R-C-I-L Vega, V-E-G-A. You know, check him out. You know what I mean? Um, check out Dr. C.B. He's on Facebook. His um, site is on Facebook. Look up some of the stuff that he's saying and uh, research the foods and, and, and things like that and find this information out for yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer in, you know, hey, going fishing on your own so you can eat for a lifetime and not letting people feed you all the time. So that's where it's at because if I feed you today, you'll eat today. If I teach you how to feed, you'll eat for a lifetime. So, you know, check this information out. Don't take my word for it. Don't take this guy's word for it. Don't take Dr. Savory's word for it, anyone's word for it. 
research it, look it up yourself, and you know, make your own decision on what it is that you want to do with your life and how you want to live. So take care. God bless. It's Lonnie Hill Flatline Fitness. Facebook, Lonnie Hill Flatline. Instagram, Flatline Fitness 1. YouTube, Lonnie Hill's Flatline Fitness. Keep God first in everything that you do. Family second, follow your dreams, and don't stop at nothing.